dear friends, today we are going to solve the test paper of Tim Sukia district. Which one of the following devices connects a LAN to a wire? The options are NIC, Bluetooth, Hotspot and Router. So when we are connecting a LAN to a WAN, suppose internet, we need a router. So the answer will be router. Next question, by using which of the following options, the border of tables can be collapsed? The options are border collapse, collapse, table border collapse, border collapse, and none of this. The correct answer should be one, border hyphen collapse, colon collapse. Question number C, IP address can be automatically assigned if the network is connected to the options are access point, mail server, web server and DHCP server. It should be DHCP server because DHCP server can dynamically assign addresses. Question number D. This expression contains the statements that are needed to be executed in each iteration of loop. Options are initialization, test, update and none of this this question is a little bit ambiguous okay but if we think the answer should be none of this because it is the loop body that is executed in each iteration of the loop for this the answer should be none of this now fill in the blanks question number a dash commands are used to grant and take back authority from any database user so it is grant for granting rights and authority and revoke for taking back the authority question number b the number of dash denotes the degree of a table the number of columns denotes the degree of a table so the answer will be columns question number c if star is the name of the array it is called the dash of the array the name of the array denotes the base address of the array. So the answer will be base address. Now state true and false. Which statement is true for a function name in C? Any valid identifier except keyword can be function name. It is true. I will still see the next one. Any valid identifier including keyword can be a function name. Keywords cannot be identifiers. So the correct option will be option 1 which is true. Question number B. Which statement is false for dynamic memory allocation? Dynamic memory allocation is allocating memory at runtime. So the first option is correct. So the first statement will be it deallocates the memory space at runtime. So option 2 will be the false. Now the question number C. Which of the statements is true for OOP or object oriented programming? Option 1. It allows us to code reusability. So in OOP we can reuse code. It is true. It emphasizes on algorithm. It is false because it is the style of procedure oriented programming. So the true option will be option 1. Question number 4, answer in one word. Question number A of 4 is, the network formed by connecting devices from multiple locations across the globe. So it must be internet. Question B, it is a multiport device that maintains some routing information or routing information about the other network devices in an internal network. So when it is internal network, it could be LAN. So it should be switch, not router. Question number C. Name the editor that allows the developer to see what the end result will look like after the document is created. And the answer should be what you see is what you get editor or WYSI, WYG editor. Question D. Which tag is used to enclose the data of a single row in a table? To create a single row, we use the TR tag. So TR opening and TR closing. Within that, whatever we write will be part of a single row. 
Question number E. It is a collection of web pages which interlink with each other and contains related information. So collection of web page is website. Question number F. Which wildcard character allows finding a match for any string of any length including zero length? It will be percentage. It can replace any number of characters in a string and it can find the match. Now question number G. A relative position can also be referred to as there is no single word answer to this question. So the answer will be a position relative to its normal position. H. The statement that is responsible for execution of the function is known as what? Name it. It should be function call because when you call a function it executes. Number I. This type of programming basically contains multiple functions into the program. What is it? It should be procedural programming or procedure oriented programming. Question number J. The last question. It is a user defined blueprint. It is a user defined blueprint or prototype from which the objects are created. Name it. So objects are created from the blueprint class. So the answer will be class. So it completes all the short questions from Team Shukiya District. We will meet in the next video.